Wild Duck by Ramesh Ganesekara. The man and the boy sat in a small boat with guns resting across their knees. They come in clouds, moving very fast, the man said, pointing at a red volcanic hill. You have to shoot fast. The boy ran his finger down the gun's cold barrel. The light on the surface of the water changed from orange, red and mauve. Remember, aim ahead, imagine the flight path. I know. Suddenly, a ribbon of black dots billowed out of the horizon. Half the sky was covered by teal. They moved in one way, then another, blocking the light. The water turned black. Small groups dived, then rose in perfect formations. Then they were overhead. The sky filled with the bird calls. The man started firing. He pumped the gun empty. They are flying much too high. His son raised his rifle with a more patient and steady hand. He aimed and fired at a single speck out of the mass. The speck plummeted. I want to find it. The boy put down his rifle and took the paddle. The boy's arms trembled as he paddled. There was a lump floating on the water, its broken wing like the ragged sail of a toy boat. He bent over and picked it up. Well done, the man said. His son was silent. The duck was big, helpless. Touching its soft feathers and its bony neck, the boy looked frightened at what he had done. Then the duck lifted its head. Look, it is not dead. The boy breathed in relief. He spent hours watching it waddle about the backyard. Sometimes it would stretch its neck and try to flap its lopsided wings, but it would never fly again. One day, the man asked his son, Where is the gun? I threw it away. He said defiantly, You what? It was mine. You gave it to me. But it did not kill your duck. It gave you your duck. It made me sick. The man felt the blood pumping in his head. He found he was relieved the gun was gone.